My name is Mim, and my husband Dan and I bought a property in western Sonoma County 22 years ago, and we did not have power supply to that property at that time, and we made the decision to continue to live off the grid since then, including when we built a 3,300 square foot house and 1,300 square foot garage with living quarters. We're going to commit to being off the grid, and that decision was really part of a, a framework of how we approach building this house entirely, to be energy efficient, to use sustainable materials, and to do things that are environmentally friendly. Our focus was on what we, we could find as a storage solution. It addressed all the things we were having problems with the other ones. They, they were maintenance free, you could discharge them entirely and through many cycles without damaging them. They would have a long life. They were not flammable. They were made with all non-combustible materials. And in fact, they were made with all materials that were completely benign. We have three solar power systems. The largest one is providing power to our new 3,300 square foot house and a separate garage with an apartment above it. The second system is powering our original cabin as well as another guest house. And then we have a third system that's devoted entirely to powering our internet delivery. We light the house nearly 100% with LED uh, light bulbs. Our heat comes from wood. We do have a backup uh, propane heating system. Our water comes from a spring that's down below us, almost 500 feet. So we pump that up here to this house. We still have a pressure tank. Those are the significant items. It's possible to live in a way that is environmentally friendly and conserving especially non-renewable resources. It's possible to do that and still have a really lovely environment in which to live. It doesn't mean living in a cabin and it doesn't mean having to scrimp on everything. It could be very lovely.